Uh, well, I had such a <laughs> such a low bar for him uh, that uh, it's it's you know it's hard to be disappointed. Um, I think he's you know doing fine for what he was you know saying he was going to do. I'm glad he's not getting done some of the stuff that he wanted to do. I'm gravely concerned about uh, his attack on the press, his constant, uh, relentless attack on the press, even though part of me feels good that they're getting their head handed to them in some regard. Um, but this isn't going to go anywhere uh, except bad places. Uh, the divide is getting worse and worse in America. And I don't think it's based on anything that resembles facts or principles. Why do you think he appeals to the public? Were they gullible? Were they stupid? Why did they vote for him? I think you can relate to it with Brexit. Um, I think people are tired of feeling though they are being pushed around, feeling as though somebody else that is disconnected from them is telling them what to do. They're tired of the, the um, playing by the rules and then having the banks win, having the, the, the people in Washington or in London who you know are corrupt, yet they seem to get away with it. I think people are just tired of that. Mm. Do you think Trump or other populists, take Marine Le Pen in France, do you think they are creating the anger among the public no. or are they reflecting an anger? to speak about Donald Trump, I think he recognized the anger and is playing into the anger and then magnifying it. Um, where, a, where a truly great leader sees anger and then says, let's channel this into something positive and move in a different direction. Instead, we're seeing people channel it into um, even more anger and populism and nationalism, which as Europe knows, has a very bad record. Glenn, let's talk about you, because you're sitting here, you're sounding like a very measured guy and you've got your criticisms of Trump and those who would seek to divide. You're one of them. I mean, where have you been for the last 20 years? You've been doing exactly that stuff. You've been making comments about Mexicans. You say Mexico is a country being overtaken by lawbreakers from the bottom to the top. You've written a book called It Is About Islam. I mean, what, do you feel some guilt? Uh, if I went back in time and knew what I know now, I would do it differently. Knowing what I knew then, I didn't understand it. And I think that what's happening, in, at least in America with the press, is they don't understand it either. And, and this is why I keep saying to people like Samantha Bee and others here in America, Stephen Colbert, stop, stop. You, you are doing what I did. You're assuming that half of the country is you know either stupid or they're gonna if I make it funny they're gonna get it and they're gonna come along no you are dividing the country so right now the left has switched places in America and the media doesn't understand it we're all involved whether we're on Facebook or we're on a national broadcast we're all making this same mistake to one degree or another and I unfortunately made more mistakes than most. I mean, one thing common in your career is negativism, because you've basically hated quite a few presidents. I mean, you hated Obama. Now you're hating, you're hating Trump. I mean, if, if I didn't like, I didn't like George Bush no. either. Um, you're a defender of the Constitution. Yeah. I, 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 as you, you know, indeed, Obama was a constitutionally elected president, and yet you do spend your whole time pulling them down. Well, okay. First of all. I am a political commentator in America, so that's kind of my job. Unfortunately, that's what people pay to hear me talk about. Um, beyond that, uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm not calling for them to be toppled or anything. I respect the office of the right. president. Uh, I respect what each of them are doing. I just feel what each of them are doing is an affront to liberty and, and honor. Glenn Beck, thanks so much. Nice talking to Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.